when you're dealing with a government sponsored entity, you're dealing with a non recourse loan. That means if you screw up through no fault of your own, meaning you didn't commit fraud, you didn't com commit waste or abuse. If you have to give the keys back to the bank because you can't make the mortgage payments, you drop the keys in the bank, you shake their hand and you walk away. And that's a non-recourse loan. If you go to Fred's bank, he doesn't do non-recourse loans. He does recourse loans, full recourse loans, which means that you lose that property, you drop the keys on the desk, Frank, uh, Fred adds up the difference, the balance, hey, you're short a half a million bucks. How are we going to settle this? Fred, I'm tapped. Okay, we'll just, we'll wait around. You know, you're, you know, next time you make some money, we'll grab it. And that's a recourse loan. Now, folks, I tell all my students, do not do personal recourse loans. Most of you listen to me. Some of you say, Charlie, I'm okay. I got full faith in this deal. We're going to make this happen. Because I'll tell you right now, Having your, your name on a mortgage note personally is a tough way to sleep at night. This is personal experience talking. I mean, that, when I had to give back two complexes after the crash and I had signed personally for them, I was sweating bullets. I was watching my future go up in smoke. We hired a consultant. We all got around the table. We figured it out, and the bank let us off the recourse, and we walked away. Boy, was I doing the jig after that. Um, but, man, I don't like to see you get into that position. This is a business. This is not your personal life. Keep the business and the personal life separate. Don't sign personal recourse, uh, and make sure you, you uh, understand what you're doing. I